Hi, I'm Michaela Emmert, and I'm going to be talking about a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte. I'm pretty sure I said that incorrectly, but I'm super American, and that is French, by Georges Seurat. So this is the piece of art that I will be talking about. Um, it was painted in 1884, oil on canvas, uh, and it was a leading example of pointless technique. Uh, this is Georges Seurat's, one of his most famous works. Um, the size is 207.6 centimeters by 308 centimeters or 81.7 inches by 121.25 inches, which is roughly about seven by 10 feet. It is currently in the Art Institute of Chicago. The content in it is Parisians, people from Paris, uh, at a park uh, on the banks of the River Seine, River Seine, not quite sure how to pronounce that. Uh, it's meticulously focused or excuse me, Georges Seurat meticulously focused on the landscape of the park. That was a huge, huge focus of his, which he was inspired by another artist, um, Michel or Michael Eugene Chevreul, who is another Parisian artist. And he was a scientist whose artwork addressed painting to reproduce nature as closely as possible. So he really, really focused on the landscape inspired by him. He was also inspired by Ogden Rood, who wrote a book on the color theory where he divided color into three constants, purity, lumosity, and hue. So those were two people that he was majorly inspired by for this piece of art. And he also focused on color, light, and form. Those are things that he really focused on, according to historians. The elements of art, uh, there's no type, so we don't have to worry about that one line uh specifically the banks of the river over here uh he let me just zoom in that was really i thought that was a really crisp line and it showed everything that was going on there he the background behind the trees i guess you could call it the horizon over here that line right there was really really crisp and i think it set a lot of the tone for everything in the background and then the tree trunks. Let me see if I can hold this. The tree trunks here really ha showed really good form with because of the lines uh, used. So the color, the bright green and the trees, I thought were a really, really big focal point in the color. The people's clothes and their umbrellas, he used a lot of different color in that uh, to show the differences in people and the differences in what they liked, I guess. Um, and the color differences between the shadow and the sunlight. So even though this is all the same grass, you have the shadow greens here and then the bright greens here. I thought that was really interesting and then all of the shadows behind all the people. Shape, he's extremely detailed. Um, I like the background back here. Extremely detailed in all of this. You got rowers back here. You got all of the sailboats. Um, really detailed in a shape. Uh, space, it's a very crowded part and crowded water. And I think he did, or excuse me, space, not shape. I think he did a really good job um, balancing out the space, even though it was really crowded. The deep, the, it's very important in the details. The scale, um, you can see there's very large people here in the front. And then in the back, you got the tiny people, the tiny sailboats, all these things. And I mean, you can compare the trees in the background to these, these people, if it was all the same, it would be the people who are as tall as the trees. The texture, the painting technique was really interesting. So you can see, I thought that was kind of cool, he did a monkey. The texture helps show the realism of the grass and the people's clothing and whatnot. And he balances the colors and scales really well. Um, there's no major hierarchy and the harmony, all of it, I feel like goes well together. Um, he, according to historians, he had many drafts of this. So his final piece was something of history, his most famous work. So that is A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte by Georges Seurat.